Is all rather lapses. It happened, you're great. What's going on, guys? It's me, Sean Tanktop. I just wanted to let you guys know that this episode is brought to you by our patrons. All the people that are signed up on our bar regular tier on our Patreon are watching this video completely full and uncut right now, and you can get early access with them all throughout Season 1 of House of the Dragon and all of our bar reaction coverage if you sign up today. So we hope you guys consider doing that. Thanks a lot for stopping by, and enjoy the video. Today's quarry. Rabbit? Deer. Oh. Fine challenge. Care for some company? I'd rather ride alone. What brings you to the Vale? Or have you at last come to consummate our marriage? <laughs> the Vale sheep might be willing. <laughs> our sheep are prettier, after all. Or perhaps your brother has at last had his fill of your company. Cast you aside in favour of a little girl. Will you strike the child down? Or... I knew you couldn't finish. Succeeds in war will follow, do you understand? The realm will not accept her, and to secure her claim, she had to put your children to the sword. She had no choice. You know it. You're no fool, and yet you choose not to see it. The time is coming, Alison. Either you prepare Egon to rule, or you cleave to Ramira and pray for her mercy.
Welcome to High Tide, Your Grace. What is the meaning of this, Lady Lena? Is this how House Valarian greets its king? My father has but just returned from his long journey, and he has hastened to the Hall of Nine to await Your Grace's arrival. Let's just get on with it. An outsider among the natives. Lord Laris. Mount Bailey's rare bloom. State your purpose, my lord. I did wonder if she could be relied upon now that she is unwell. Unwell? I haven't heard anything. Then you pardon your grace for maybe mistaken. It's just that on the very same night your father was dismissed, the Grand Maester delivered a tea to the princesses. Tea? Yes. But the Grand Maester... Munira sailed with the King to Driftmark yesterday at daybreak. Oh, what good news. I must have been an error. Oh, a relief. See, I thought for Melos himself. Well, that condition must be something very serious. What happiness it is to have been wrong. Be well. May I offer you a chair? Cut! Princess. <laughs> There are certain details I would wish clarified before the Princess Rhaenys and I could accept this most generous proposal. You would like to know how the succession will be handled. Upon my death, my throne and my titles will pass to her. She and Selena's firstborn child, regardless of gender, will inherit the Iron Throne from her. But can I presume that in keeping with Westerosi tradition, their children would take their father's name. That they would be born Valarians. Surely, Lord Corlys, you are not proposing a Targaryen dynasty end with my daughter simply because she's a woman. <laughs> Selena and Rhaenyra's children shall take their father's name, Valarian, in keeping with our traditions. However, at such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, he or she will do so bearing the name Targaryen. Dragons will rule the Seven Kingdoms for the next hundred years, just as they did the last. stuck to goose. I cannot say why. It's not for a lack of try. There are those who like goose very well. I find it a bit greasy for my taste. I know that whatever agreement being struck up there will not change your appetites, nor will it change mine. And what do you propose? That we perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm. And when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. Cyrus <laughs> <laughs> is taken to bed while his ship is ready. Good. Do they seem familiar? They grew up together. Familiarity is not at issue. I'm sure Lena was already taken with her. She's grown quite comely these last few years. You know his true nature. He's still young. He will outgrow it. 
There's no pleasure in the world like bedding a woman. We are placing our son in danger. The lords of the realm bent the knee to Rhaenyra and swore obeisance to her. That was before there was a true-born prince named Aegon Targaryen. Rhaenyra's succession will be challenged. Knives will come out for her, her husband, and for their heirs. You should be queen of the Seven Kingdoms. You were robbed of the crown. I like... never wore the crown. Because the realm would not have it. And I would remedy that small-minded error by any means necessary. I myself have put the business behind me, callers. I've always feared the day you'd have to marry a woman. The Rhaenyra will be queen of the Seven Kingdoms and you will be her king consort. <laughs> Think of the tournament, with the feast, the battles at sea. Can you wear your crown today, Grace? <laughs> You'll need a sworn protector. Yes, or a ship to a shy. It is my duty. But my, um, my marriage does not have to be the end. So I said, Lady and I have an understanding. I've gone to leave pursue his own interests. And the time is gone to be the same. So you want me to be your whore? <laughs> I want us to continue as we began with you as my sole protector, my white knight. I took an oath. As a as a knight of your my 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 white cloak is the only thing I have to fucking name. Or if we were married, I might be able to restore it. The Iron Throne looms larger than me. 
acknowledge her than anyone in my family. Egan the Conqueror united seven kingdoms and put them on a path. So Kristen, The night of Damon's return, there has been a rumour, or rather, my father received an accounting of a lapse of morals that may have occurred between It is, of course, unthinkable for me to question the virtue of the princess, whom I hold in highest regard. I, I did, however, wonder if... I am not unaware that in flush of years, or rather lapses... It happened, your grace. Sin looted. I have committed it. No! 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 That investigation it is true, but that can... It is no excuse. Idiot. My oath has been broken. I have dishonored myself. I deserve my consideration. But if... As a clement queen... You are inclined to pity. I would ask only this. That rather than gelding me and having me tortured, you would sentence me mercifully to death. Honesty, Sir Kristen. You may go. I took the liberty of preparing a fresh set of herbal poultices that might be more effective. Better not be necessary or why. The leechings have always brought his grace relief. <clears throat> what will they say of me when their histories are written? It hardly makes a good song, does it? To be sung at feasts in hundred years. Five hundred. There is a part of me which is only tested. I often think that in the crucible, I may have been forged a different man. Many that are tested only wish to have been spared. Another lord might assure me that I would rise like get on the conqueror given the chance. Your grace, that is your right. Your right. As always. It is perhaps best not. 